I am Zeel Bhatt and welcome to my channel Zeel's Pharmacy Tutorial. And today we are going to study about glycolysis. So what is the definition of glycolysis? Glycolysis is defined as the sequence of reactions converting glucose to pyruvate or lactate with the production of ATPs. It is also known as abandoned mare of pathway. Now depending upon the conditions, the different end products are formed. In aerobic condition, it forms pyruvate as an end product and in anaerobic condition, it forms lactate as an end product. Now let us have a look on the reactions of the glycolysis. The reactions of the glycolysis could be classified into three stages. First is energy investment phase. Then it is splitting phase and the last and the final phase that is energy generation phase. Now in energy investment phase, the ATPs are invested, thus the energy molecules are consumed. In the splitting phase, 6 carbon containing fructose 1,6-biphosphate is splitted into 2 carbohydrate molecules of 3 carbons. And in the last stage, that is energy generation phase, the ATPs are liberated. Thus, the energy molecules are obtained. Now, let us have a look on the cycle of glycolysis. In the cycle of glycolysis, our starting material is glucose, which in the presence of the enzyme hexokinase gets converted into glucose 6-phosphate. Thus, phosphate molecule is attached at the 6th number of carbon in the glucose molecule. Here, one ATP molecule is converted into ADP. Thus, energy is consumed. Now, glucose 6-phosphate in the presence of the enzyme phosphohexose isomerase gets converted into its isomer that is fructose 6-phosphate. Now, fructose 6-phosphate in the presence of the enzyme phosphofructokinase gets converted into fructose 1,6-biphosphate. Thus, another phosphorus molecule at the first number of carbon is attached in the fructose molecule. Thus, another ATP is consumed and ADP is formed. So here, the energy investment phase gets over and here comes the splitting phase, where fructose 1,6-biphosphate is splitted into 3 carbon containing 2 molecules. Thus, in the presence of the enzyme aldolase, Fructose 6-biphosphate is splitted into dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. And now from here starts the energy generation phase where glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate in the presence of the enzyme glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase gets converted into 1,3-biphosphoglycerate. 1,3-biphosphoglycerate in the presence of the enzyme phosphoglycerate kinase gets converted into 3-phosphoglycerate. Here one phosphorus molecule is liberated which combines with ADP and forms ATP. Thus energy is liberated. Now 3-phosphoglycerate in the presence of the enzyme phosphoglycerate mutase gets converted into 2-phosphoglycerate. Here, the position of the phosphorus from the third carbon is changed to the second carbon. Now, 2-phosphoglycerate liberates one water molecule and in the presence of the enzyme enolase gets converted into phosphophenol pyruvate. Now, phosphophenol pyruvate in the presence of the enzyme pyruvate kinase gets converted into pyruvate. Here, the phosphorus molecule from the phosphophenol pyruvate is liberated which combines with ADP and generates ATP. Thus again, energy is generated. Now, pyruvate which is in the enol form is spontaneously converted into pyruvate of keto form. The glycolysis process is occurring in aerobic condition, the end product is pyruvate. Thus, the process of glycolysis stops here. But if the process of glycolysis is occurring in anaerobic condition, then lactate is obtained as end product. Now, pyruvate which is in the keto form, in the presence of the enzyme, lactate dehydrogenase gets converted into lactate. Thus, the procedure in anaerobic condition stops here. 